At Opportunity Green 2009, we spoke with Leilani Munter, a race car driver and environmental activist about how she promotes environmentally conscious behavior to her fans. John Lesage, the editor of the Green Edition here at uh, Opportunity Green, and I'm speaking with Leilani Munter, who's a race car driver and environmental activist. Could you tell us about, about your background and how you got into this and why you're here today? Okay. Um, well, I'm a biology graduate um, from the University of California, San Diego, and uh, I started racing while I was in college on the short tracks of Southern California. Um, after I got out of college, I decided I wanted to uh, continue to race cars, so I moved out to Charlotte, North Carolina, which is sort of the epicenter of NASCAR racing, and I've been racing for the last nine years, um, mainly in stock cars, and then I ran some Indy Lights, which is the feeder division in Indy car racing, um, and my next race is looking like like it's going to be in the Arca series at Daytona in February. How are you bringing your concern for green issues into being a race car driver? Well, I've been using my platform as a driver. Um, back in 2006, I started a section on my racing website that was dedicated to environmental news. Um, so that's what interests me outside of the race car. And I was passionate about the ability that I had a platform to talk to these race fans about, you know, solar power and clean energy and, you know, climate change and all of these environmental challenges that we're facing. Um, in 2007, I made the commitment to adopt and protect an acre of rainforest for every race that I run to offset the carbon footprint of my race car. Car. Um, and then it sort of expanded from there. I, I've been uh, lobbying with Congress. I'm an ambassador for the National Wildlife Federation. So I go up there with their climate change scientists and speak to senators and talk to them about things like the Clean Energy Bill and, you know, last year the Climate Security Act. Um, so it's a big part of my life. And, and now I, you know, I don't work with companies that are, that are not... Uh, treating the environment in a good way, so to speak. Um, I'm not, you're not going to find uh, really bad environmental sponsors on my race car because that's something I'm very passionate about. So what I'm trying to do is basically use my race car to call to action the race fans, to ask them to make small changes to their lifestyles, such as forgoing plastic bags, using canvas grocery bags, um, using LED light bulbs, you know, changing out the the old uh, incandescent bulbs and starting to, to have efficiency in their houses, insulation, solar water heaters, um, just to have somewhere where the fans can go at the racetrack and, and find out more information if they're interested in composting and recycling and all the kinds of tree hugging things that I'm into. Are you seeing uh, this happening in the NASCAR circuit? Is there more concern uh, you know, at, with the, the sponsors and the organization? Um, absolutely. I mean, NASCAR actually hired somebody last year um, who's the head of green innovation at NASCAR. So they're starting some some efforts to go more green. IndyCar is a little bit further ahead, I think, than NASCAR because they've been doing that for quite a while. Um, so I talk with IndyCar about that, and I've had a conversation with the guy at NASCAR. Um, you know, where I can really make a difference is reaching out to the fans. Um, that's where I have a platform. I would love to see the racing series, you know, using alternative fuels and um, maybe getting some algae-based biodiesel into the haulers. Um, there's a lot of things that can be done. Anytime you have 100, 200,000 people at a race, you know, we're going to create a lot of waste. And so I just love us to, you know, do what we can and set a good example. Um, and, and my voice as a race car driver, um, I want to talk about these issues. This is what I'm passionate about. Um, this is what I do. You know, I'd say half my life is in the environmental world and half of it is in the racing world. It's not true that if you like fast cars, you don't care about the earth. They're not mutually exclusive events. Great. Thank you.